All right, you just saw that picture. Well, now live in studio, we've got the Tower Quartet. Hello there. Um, it's just me in the studio and then Mike Briggs. In the back. But you know what? We can still clap and be excited. So uh, welcome, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you for gosh. having us. Let's, let's introduce everybody. Start with you. My name is Aaron Adams. I play violin. I'm Leanna Elmore. I play violin as well. I'm Matthew Smoke, the violist. And I'm Kelvin Diaz. I'm the cellist. Well, welcome all of you. So let's start from the very beginning. How long has Tower Quartet been going for? Whoever wants to take that question. Oh, uh, well, we started in 2018, so I guess about four years now or so. Yeah. So we've been together long enough to <laughs> know each other and very well. well. We're all well. Um, uh, current or former students at Fresno State, uh, graduate students, and and bachelors, and uh, some of us live in the tower, so we rehearse in the tower. Okay. So we, you know, we felt like we needed to pay homage to the place that we stay. Yeah, yeah. Nice yeah. Tower. yeah. We're, we're all about tower, of course, as uh, Central Valley Talk <laughs> is in the tower district. So um, <laughs> let's talk a little bit. So for, for uh, we'll start with you. Um, why the music uh, interest? Why the music interest? Yeah. That's a big question. <laughs> <laughs> in public school up in Stockton, music teacher came in and like tried out the string instruments. And she said, who wants to come up and try? Everybody raised their hands, but she chose me. And I don't know, I just felt this like spark immediately at eight. So since then, it's just like, I can't not play music, honestly. You love it. Yeah. yeah. How about you? Uh, well, actually, my mom got me into it. I have four siblings. We all learned violin. Okay. She plays violin. She plays in the Fresno Philharmonic. Um, and we all do now, actually. Um, and, you know, I was, you know, mostly enthusiastic later on, <laughs> you know? Um, but it was because of her discipline and everything that I'm able to enjoy it now, because I just, you know, I fell in love with music, and this gave me the tools to express that. So, yeah, really grateful. What's your story? Well, I think it has to start when I got my first iPod when I was like six or seven. I remember those. Uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> those, those prehistoric things. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah prehistoric, real quick. For, for him. <laughs> yeah. I was at Manchester Center the other day with my daughters. Totally unrelated, but um, and you know, I mean, that mall is. I don't even know how it's still around. You know, I mean, there's just a few stores in there, but. It was so crazy because uh, on the end of the mall, there were four, you know, the old school phones. Mm -hmm. And there were, I, I, I was like, I wonder if these work. Mm -hmm. And I, they actually work. <laughs> so uh, if you need a pay phone, go to Manchester. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's when I got my first iPod, and I think the first full album, yep. I you know, learned the, the term album, and it was a collection of songs was uh, American Idiot by Green Day. Good song. And it kind of, you know, really opened my mind that music can be thought-provoking, it can be different than the mold that everybody else is doing. Um, and that led me into classical music, and that led me to the viola, uh, which is the less popular choice of all the string instruments. Um, but it kind of gives me the advantage of, um, there's no concrete way to play the viola yet, uh, whereas there's really solidified techniques for violin. There's lots of wide-ranging and differing techniques for viola, and I get just experiment with that all the time so last but not least yeah um, well I me growing up in Puerto Rico it's a very musical place um, but I love music and I started singing when I was very little and then there was a musical program in the school where I was at I insisted my mom for about like six months um, to put me in <laughs> and then since there I just stick into music and the cello just called me I felt like it was speaking to me um, almost, and funny enough, it's actually the closest register to the human voice in the string instrument. So. Really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. So, yeah. Ah, so okay, now you know, everybody. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. Okay, so uh, now, for our viewers that are watching today, and you guys obviously are going to perform for us in just a bit, so stay with us, uh, everybody, but um, can other people, like, uh, join you guys? Like, how does that work? Oh, yeah, we actually do collaborate with other okay. artists. Okay. Um, we played with a clarinet player and some pianists, and uh, we might work with a singer. A and, a singer. and we've actually yeah. worked with um, some local rock bands like Cloud Shift. 
oh. um, and done some other reporting work for other artists. So yeah, if you, you want to work are, with us, just let us know. You're, you're around, you're out there now, yeah. and yeah. Uh, you guys are doing big things. So, um, okay, well, I, I think it's a time to perform, uh, but what are we going to be, um, yeah, where where are you going to be performing uh, so our viewers can actually go see you guys? Oh, oh I go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, tomorrow night, Wednesday night at 9 p.m., we're going to be playing at Goldstein's Mortuary and Delicatessen, which uh, uh, is a local gra cra craft beer spot um, that has local music, and it's actually our, it's only our second time playing outside of like a concert hall or a traditional right. stage. We played at Full 55 before, so we're really looking forward to kind of loosening up a bit more. Right. And right. Lots of genres, yeah. Yeah. from classical yeah. Beethoven all the way to Radiohead, Soundgarden, Foo Fighters, yeah. Adele. Okay. So if you're kind of new to, you know, a string quartet, this is a great way to yeah. dip your toe in and hear some familiar music. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. Now, I would ask you guys, so um, I am a big, big fan and it's kind of embarrassing, but I think you guys would, would understand this. But um, I love news music. TV news music. Uh, you know? uh, <laughs> <laughs> so you guys could probably do that yeah. sometime. Yeah. So maybe next yeah. time. Yeah. That's your yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, the mission by, by John Williams. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. We'll yeah. recreate that. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right, everybody, stay with us. We're going to take uh, just a quick break. Uh, we're going to hear from the Tower uh, Quartet next on Central Valley Talk.